One of the questions I get the most is, Josh, what are some good, cheap beginner's clubs I can buy? And my first answer is always, hey, just check out Amazon. They got cheap clubs, they got full sets, um, and they'll ship them right to your door. But up until now, I haven't really had the opportunity to check out these Amazon clubs that I'm telling everybody to go buy. Today, we're about to change that. I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I bought the cheapest full set of golf clubs you can buy on Amazon. And we're about to see what's inside. Here's the outside of the box. Nothing too crazy. One thing I was a little bit concerned about, it says color brown. I'm, I'm pretty sure that they're blue clubs. I think they might be talking about the uh, the cardboard box that's brown. So the brand is Confidence. Let's open these bad boys up. All right. Kind of looks like the, uh, the Cleveland logo a little bit. I uh, got some head covers in here. Not the highest quality, I'm gonna be honest but that's nice if we at least get head covered with it. Let's start with the driver. Check the driver out. It's got a metal shaft on it, which you don't see with a lot of drivers. R flex, I'm not, I guess regular flex. Confidence power, 10 degree driver right there. Check it out. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let's do putter. Okay. It's got some decent weight to it. No like grooves or anything on the front here. I feel like you don't see a lot of that either. 24 degree. Hi, I'm guessing that's a hybrid. Yeah, hybrid's looking pretty good. That'd definitely get you out of a lot of jam. All right, we got a, uh, it looks like a seven iron. The bottoms of them look really good. Very shiny. I'm like a fish. If I see something shiny, I'm like, oh yeah, I like that. Cavity back there. I don't think this guy in here is really doing anything. I think it's more just like a sticker. The grips aren't bad either. They're a little bit slippery. I have the, uh, like the Golf Pride cord grips. I like those because you can really feel the cords in them. The only thing I will say, I would like to see more golf clubs. So we've got pitching wedge, 9876. Um, I'd like to see at least like a five or a four iron in there. And there's a lot of distances that are gonna be in between your six iron and your hybrid. So we're at the range. Uh, I'm gonna test these guys out. Here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna test them out like against my personal clubs. Basically, I'm gonna hit a few shots with my irons. Obviously, I know how those feel. And then I'm gonna take a few shots with the, uh, the confidence powers. Um, and then see how those feel and try and compare them. See if I can tell the difference and hopefully relay that to you guys. First swings there with the irons, they are a little bit lighter than my irons, but honestly, as I was swinging them, they felt really good. They really do feel good. Definitely tell there's a lot more forgiveness on these guys. Uh, I had a few like off the toe, uh, a few inside, and they still went straight. They still like felt good. There was no stinging in my hand. I will say that the, the distance is definitely a little bit less than my, my personal iron. It might just be like my level of golf, but I really couldn't tell that much of a difference between my Mizuno irons um, and these guys. Took a few swings with the driver. I'm not a huge fan of like the circle on the top. Major difference I noticed with the driver uh, is the sound. I mean, my driver's got a nice like ping to it. This one sounds kind of like a dead baseball bat. As far as like distance goes, I hit a couple like pretty good ones, but I was probably maxing this guy out at like 275. Whereas my driver, if I get, if I really get into it, I can, you know, hit it over 300 yards. When you do square it up, like it feels good. It just maybe doesn't go quite as far. Heading over to the old practice screen. I'm gonna test out the putter. Initial feel with the putter, it's definitely a little bit lighter than my Kenny G. It is a little bit longer, which I kind of like just cause I feel a little bit hunched over when I'm putting. So kind of nice to have a little bit of a longer putter. Um, the, the putter, when you hit, when you strike the ball, it definitely feels a little bit hollow. But realistically, I'm comparing it to like a two, $300 putter. You see it's got that kind of standard like blade putter. It doesn't look bad like it, when you're looking down on it. I kind of like the three lines having them there just to like line everything up. It is kind of pleasing to the eye. All right, so what does all this mean? Realistically, these clubs are 220 bucks. So we can compare them to my Titleist and my Mizuno clubs all day, but they're just not gonna match up. What these clubs are awesome for is, first off, they're 220 bucks. And second off, they're just beginner's clubs. They're perfect to get started. You get yourself a driver, a putter, all your irons, a wood, and you can get on the course and play. That's, that's really what they're here for. And so that being said, I think these are great clubs. So obviously I got my own clubs. I don't need these clubs. So I'm gonna be giving them away to you guys. Uh, so if you're trying to win these clubs at the end of the month, all you gotta do is subscribe to my channel right here and then follow me on Instagram. First set of clubs I bought on Amazon, 
and probably won't be my last. Thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate it. Go ahead and like, subscribe. Peace.